19 deaths, the highest number of deaths recorded in a period of 24 hours. This even as Kenyans continue to flout COVID-19 rules in the wake of a second wave of the virus in the country. Here is our health reporter, Zainab Mohammed. Just one month since the eruption of a second wave of COVID-19 infections in the country, Kenyans are knowingly flouting COVID-19 rules, many even doubting the reality of the virus. Lakini sioni kama hiko. Sana sana ni vile kama haiko. Sababu sasa kama kazi zetu za mati tunaguza pesa, tuna interact na watu wengi. Jasikia mtu amekufa mimi. Na sikia watu wakisema sijui ati mimi najua mtu fulani. Mimi sijaisikia mtu najua. And only wearing masks due to a police crackdown and not for COVID-19 protection. Sija kutana na mtu yote ako na corona lakini mask tunavaa kwa sababu ni sheria. Kenyans clearly mistrusting the government and its daily COVID-19 statistics updates as a result of corruption allegations, leaders who want to benefit from the pandemic and a poor communication strategy by the government on the virus. But as they continue to doubt the reality of the highly contagious and deadly virus, the high and the mighty in the society are coming out and openly admitting to having contracted the virus, some recovering while others succumbing to the disease. Among those who have contracted the virus and recovered, former MP for Sterehe, Bishop Margaret Wanjiru, journalist Jeff Koinange, Speaker of Machakos County Assembly Florence Mwangangi, Government Spokesperson Saira Soguna, Principal Secretary for Foreign Affairs Masharia Kamau, Pastor Robert Burale and Getundu South MP Moses Kuria. Sadly, many others have succumbed to the virus, including Chief of Staff for Kakamega County Robert Asumbi, Orthopedic Surgeon Dr. Daniel Alushula, Security Personnel to West MP Tim Wanyonyi and brother to Senator Moses Wetangula, Tony Waswa Wetangula, famous actor Papa Shirandula, lawyer Nzamba Kitonga, former Changamwe MP Ramadan Saif Kajembe, Huruma Ward MCA Peter Chomba, Healthgate Ward MCA John Juguna, Goodrich Schools Director Gideon Chalo, gynecologist Dr. Doreen Adisa Lugaliki, and former Nairobi County Secretary Robert Ayisi. This, even as the country records 24 COVID-19 deaths, the highest number of deaths recorded in a period of 24 hours. The total number of COVID-19 cases rising to 64,588 after 1,344 more people tested positive for the virus. 436 people have also recovered. Zainab Mohammed, TV47.